Welcome to the Indie Book Awards 2023. I'm Leanne Cadriana, Head of Books at Leading Edge Retail, proud facilitator of these awards. Tonight we celebrate the best Australian writing as selected by independent booksellers across the country. I'd like to acknowledge that I'm hosting this awards ceremony from the lands of the Camerigal people. I also acknowledge the traditional custodians of the various lands where you are today and their connections to land, sea and community, the land's original storytellers. I pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people watching today. We're excited to announce the award winners tonight. This year's shortlist speaks to the incredible breadth of Australian publishing and our winners have been selected by the true champions and lovers of Australian literature, independent booksellers. Independent booksellers are known for their passion and love of quality writing, and their stores are havens for book lovers of all ages. Their customers return again and again for their knowledge and recommendations, so you can trust them when they say these books are the best of the best. Our category winners will be revealed by some of these amazing booksellers. Before we begin, I'd like to thank our panel of judges for their dedication in reading and judging the shortlisted titles and to all booksellers who have participated and promoted the awards. Thank you also to our sponsors, Alan and Unwin, Harper Collins, Text Publishing, Thames and Hudson, Simon and Schuster, Penguin Random House, and our overall Book of the Year sponsor, Shoreline Publishing Group. Thanks to our sponsors, our category winners will share in over 7,000 in prize money. This year's Book of the Year will join an auspicious group of previous winners who will join this incredible list in our 15th year. Now, without further ado, let's begin the 2023 Indie Book Awards. Fiction category, proudly sponsored by Alan and Unwin. Hello everyone, I'm Anne Hewitt, the owner of the book tree in Toowoomba, and I'm very happy to present the award for the 2023 Indie Book Award for Fiction. Congratulations to the shortlisted authors and their publishers, and a special thank you to Alan and Unwin for sponsoring this award. The four shortlisted books are... Limber Lost by Robbie Arnott, published by Text Publishing. Horse by Geraldine Brooks, published by Hachette Australia. Seeing Other People by Diana Reid, published by Ultimo Press. The Seven Skins of Esther Wilding, by Holly Ringland, published by Fourth Estate Australia. And it gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of the Indie Book Award for 2023 for fiction is Horse by Geraldine Brooks, published by Hachette Australia. Congratulations, Geraldine. I am absolutely thrilled that my novel Horse has won the fiction category of the Indie Awards. This means so much to me uh, at a time when books that try to reckon with our past are increasingly under attack, uh, that there's so much resistance to analysing the way uh, the injustices and inequalities of the past still reverberate in the present day. So I'm especially thrilled that you've honoured my book's attempt to deal with some of these issues and I want to thank you for that but I also want to thank you even more wholeheartedly for what you do every day in bookstores all over the country the magic of getting the right book into the right readers hands I wouldn't be able to do what I do if you weren't so good at doing what you do and I know what challenges you've faced these last few years and how incredibly hard you've worked to surmount them Non-fiction category, proudly sponsored by HarperCollins Publishers. I'm pleased to present the Indie Award for Non-Fiction. Congratulations to all the shortlisted authors and publishers, and many thanks to HarperCollins for their generous sponsorship of this award. The Book of Roads and Kingdoms by Richard Feidler, published by ABC Books, HarperCollins Australia. The First Astronomers 
by Duane Hamacher with Elders and Knowledge Holders, published by Alan and Unwin. Nothing Bad Ever Happens Here by Heather Rose, published by Alan and Unwin. The Ninth Life of a Diamond Miner by Grace Tame, published by Macmillan Australia. The winner of the Indie Nonfiction Award this year goes to Richard Feidler for his brilliant and engaging Book of Roads and Kingdoms. Thank you so much. I'm deeply honoured to have won this award for a book that was such a pleasure to write and that shifted my whole understanding of the centre of gravity of the world of the early Middle Ages. I'm particularly encouraged to have been given this by the independent booksellers, who are, of course, a beacon of civilization and distinctiveness in a world of generic shops with moulded plastic exteriors. My most urgent thanks go to the great trio of women who've helped me with all my books so far. Brigitte Doyle from HarperCollins, my agent Elizabeth Troyer, and my wife Kim, who helped me with the research and who tolerated me reading passages of the book aloud to her. Huge thanks also to Mark Campbell for the brilliant cover design, which is both spectacularly beautiful and original and so richly layered with meaning. Thank you so much. Debut Fiction Category, proudly sponsored by Text Publishing. Hi, I'm Kerry from My Little Bookshop and I'm pleased to present the Indie Book Award for Debut Fiction for 2023. Congratulations to all the shortlisted authors and publishers with a special shout out to Text Publishing, the sponsor of this award. The four shortlisted books are... Wake by Shelley Burr, published by Hachette Australia. All That's Left Unsaid by Tracy Lien, published by HQ Fiction, HarperCollins. Son of Sin by Omar Saka, published by Affirm Press. Dirt Town by Hayley Shrivener, published by Macmillan Australia. And the Indie Book Award for Debut Fiction 2023 goes to All That's Left Unsaid by Tracy Lian, published by HQ Fiction, HarperCollins. Congratulations, Tracy. Hi, this is Tracy Lian, and I'm the author of All That's Left Unsaid. And I just wanted to send the biggest thank you to Australia's independent bookseller community for all the support that they've shown my novel. You know, when I was a grad student still writing my novel, I used to pop into independent bookstores all the time and I would have this fantasy where I thought, okay, one day when I finish my manuscript, if I'm lucky enough to sell it and have it published, how incredible would it be to see this novel on the shelves of indie bookstores or, or on one of those tables where the staff pick their favorites. So to know that not only have you all given my novel a chance, but you've now given it this incredible platform, I'm absolutely blown away. It means so much to me. And I'm so grateful for not only the support, but for the passion and the thoughtfulness and the care that you put into reading books and curating books and championing books, especially debut novels. So thank you so much. Uh, I've been freaking out since I found out and I am just so thrilled and so thankful. Illustrated nonfiction category, proudly sponsored by Thames and Hudson Australia. Hi, Peter Beasley here from the Lane Bookshop in Claremont. It's my great pleasure today to present the Indie Book Award for the Illustrated Nonfiction category. I'd like to congratulate all the shortlisted finalists and also to thank Thames and Hudson for their support with this award. The four shortlisted books are... 
First Nations Food Companion by Damien Coltard and Rebecca Sullivan, published by Murdoch Books. Big Beautiful Female Theory by Eloise Grills, published by Affirm Press. Cressida Campbell by National Gallery of Australia, published by National Gallery of Australia. Recipe Tin Eats Dinner by Nagi Mahashi, published by Macmillan Australia. And the Indie Book Award for Illustrated Nonfiction goes to First Nations Food Companion by Damien Coulthard and Rebecca Sullivan, published by Murdoch Books. Congratulations, well done. Wow, um, I can't actually believe that we have just taken out this award uh, for Illustrated Nonfiction category for the Indie Book Awards. Absolutely chuffed, humbled, honoured that you guys see the First Nations Food Companion being worthy of such a great award voted by so many of you across Australia. Um, we can't thank you enough. And it just doesn't happen without your, your kindness, your generosity and using your platform to celebrate um, the native foods and botanicals that we have in Australia. And what a better place to do it than in, in all homes around Australia, sharing it with, with family. Um, what it means is we're creating a safer place to have deeper conversations. And that's the most important thing is deeper conversations with family and friends that we love. And you can have those challenging conversations. So we thank you from the bottom of our heart. Um, it means such a great deal to us. And um, we look forward to the next book coming out in the near future. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Children's Category, proudly sponsored by Simon & Schuster Australia. I'm Peter from the Book Hour Bookshop in Canberra. I'm pleased to present the Indie Book Awards 2023 for children's books. Congratulations to all the shortlisted authors and publishers, and many thanks to Simon & Schuster, the sponsor of this category of the award. The four shortlisted books are... Frank's Red Hat by Sean E. Avery, published by Walker Books, Australia. Ceremony, Welcome to Our Country by Adam Goods and Ellie Lane, illustrated by David Hardy published by Allen and Unwin Children's. Guardians, Wyla, The Koori Warrior One by Jordan Gould and Richard Pritchard, published by Albert Street Books. Runt by Craig Sylvie, published by Allen and Unwin. The winner of the Indie Book Awards 2023 for children's books is Runt by Craig Sylvie, published by Allen and Unwin. Congratulations. I'm absolutely delighted, utterly thrilled that Runt has won the children's category of the Indie Book Awards. What a brilliant honour. Uh, I'm deeply grateful for the support of independent booksellers across Australia. My congratulations to my fellow shortlisted authors and illustrators. Uh, my congratulations and deepest thanks to Sarah Acton, the illustrator of Runt, whose talents uh, brought this book to life. To my extended family at Allen and Unwin, uh, my deepest appreciation, particularly to Jane Polferman, my editor. Thank you again to the independent booksellers of Australia. Uh, it means the world to me and I appreciate your support so very much. Thank you. Young Adult Category, proudly sponsored by Penguin Random House. Hi everyone, I'm Jessie Hilton and I'm so proud to present the Indie Book Award for Young Adult. Congratulations to all the shortlisted authors and publishers special thank you to Penguin Random House. The four shortlisted books are... Cop and Robber by Tristan Banks, published by Puffin. The Museum of Broken Things by Lauren Draper, 
published by Text Publishing. Unnecessary Drama by Nina Kenwood, published by Text Publishing. The Brink by Holden Shepherd, published by Text Publishing. And the Indie Book Award for Young Adult goes to The Brink by Holden Shepherd, published by Text Publishing. Congratulations, Holden. I am absolutely stoked to hear the news that The Brink has won the YA Book of the Year at the Indie Book Awards 2023. Uh, I am so grateful to the judges, to the booksellers of Australia who have noticed my book. Thanks so much. I'm so chuffed that it caught your attention and I'm incredibly grateful and honoured uh, by this award. Uh, the Brink is about a bunch of misfit teenagers who are leaving school and trying to find themselves and I often feel like I'm a, a bit of a misfit author in a lot of ways. So I, I feel like this award is uh, goes out to the misfits. Um, I hope it inspires people to read what they love and write what they love and do what they love and you know be okay to be a bit outside the box and eventually you find your place in the world. So um, thank you so much. Um, thank you to everyone who has read this book and supported this book. It means the absolute world to me. Um, just a very quick special shout out to the people who made this book possible. Uh, to my amazing editor Jane Pearson and the team at Text Publishing. Thank you all so much for backing this book. Uh, to my incredible agent Gabby Naya at Left Bank Literary, you're amazing and thank you for believing this book early on. And uh, to my first reader and my husband Raphael Farmer, um, thank you so much uh, for always being there uh, to support me and get me through. Um, thank you all heaps. Really, really grateful and honoured by this. Cheers. Congratulations to all the authors, illustrators and publishers of our shortlisted and category winning titles. And now to announce the Indie Book of the Year Award for 2023. The Book of the Year is voted on by our independent booksellers from our six category winning titles. To announce the 2023 Book of the Year, we welcome Bradley Shaw, Managing Partner of Shoreline Publishing Group, our generous Book of the Year sponsor. Hello everyone, my name is Bradley Shaw from Shoreline Publishing. Shoreline Publishing Group, of course, as you know, is the proud sponsor of the Indie Book Awards Book of the Year. And we're very honoured and very, I guess, flattered to be part of this um, experience and these awards. And we thank um, Leading Edge and the facilitators for this opportunity. And we also express our congratulations to all the category winners, authors and publishers. And from these great titles, the overall Book of the Year Award is voted on by independent booksellers across the country. So to remind you, of course, the six category winners were. Horse by Geraldine Brooks, published by Hachette Australia. The Book of Roads and Kingdoms by Richard Feidler, published by ABC Books, HarperCollins Australia. All That's Left Unsaid by Tracy Lien, published by HQ Fiction, HarperCollins. First Nations Food Companion, by Damien Coltard and Rebecca Sullivan, published by Murdoch Books. Runt by Craig Sylvie, published by Alan and Unwin. The Brink by Holden Shepherd, published by Text Publishing. And the 2023 Indie Book of the Year Award goes to Runt by Craig Sylvie, published by Alan and Unwin. So a big congratulations on a job well done and may you enjoy the accolades of this prestigious award. And uh, yeah, please keep writing and keep, um, keep being successful. It <laughs> helps the industry all over. Thank you everyone and uh, enjoy. Take care. My goodness, what an extraordinary honour. Uh, thank you so much to the independent booksellers of Australia. Your support for my work over the years uh, has meant the absolute world to me. And I'm so deeply appreciative for your belief in this book. Um, Runt is a very special, very personal book uh, for me. I adored writing it. 
Um, I drew so much hope from spending my days in the very admirable company of Annie Shearer and her best friend Runt and her incredible family and the good people of Ups and Downs. It's a book uh, about acceptance and loyalty and resilience and humour and love and community. Thank you so much for believing in it. Thank you so much for finding the meaning in it. Uh, and thank you for this extraordinary award. Uh, I'm deeply, deeply grateful. Thank you. That concludes the Indie Book Awards for 2023. Congratulations again to all the shortlisted and winning authors and publishers, and a particular congratulations to Craig Sylvie and his winning book, Runt. This is Craig's second Indie Book of the Year award, his first for Jasper Jones, and only the second time a children's book has won the award. However, this story of friendship, acceptance and community is really a story for children and adults alike. Thank you again to all our sponsors, to all the participating bookstores and our judging panel. And thanks to you for watching and continuing to support your local independent bookstore. Thank you.